streets gonna always be fucked. Yeah. 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 Let's go out the Holly yeah. Grove. Okay. Now put the mic on the map if you won't get on. Now put the spitter on the map if you won't get on. Now put the pole on the map if you won't get on. Say put the feet on the map if you won't get on. Say put E I on the map if you won't get on. K put the Drew on the map if you won't get on. Say put the Mark on the map if you won't get on. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a good looking rapper. I ain't trying to stunt. What up, though, Scorpio? Welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. So you guys remember I did that full moon reading earlier, and I was um, talking about the squares and whatnot. I had to go check my own chart, y'all. I guess that's why they woke me up early this morning to get started on these readings, because today, the rest of this energy been like, you don't know what I'm saying? But we're going to go and get these readings out. I don't think I'm going to get to work like I want to today, but I'm glad I got started earlier. So let's go on and get into it and see what it is that spirit wants you to know. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign. I know all you guys may not be dealing with one, but if you are, there can be a particular message in this reading for you, okay? You can be dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Now, this could be someone, Scorpio, that's experiencing a lot of baby daddy or baby mama drama, okay? This talks about like lots of fights and arguments with somebody who they got a kid with, okay? Or you can be someone who has a child with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. It's like you and this person just can't get along for shit, okay? Or this air sign, like I said, could have some baby daddy, baby mama drama going on. Now, for some of you, this fights and these arguments they've been having with this person is about marriage, okay? There can be a third party or someone who was wanting to get married, but this shit, I feel like this air sign ain't feeling this shit, okay? And this could be the question they always fighting about. Well, are you going to propose? You know, we got this kid together. We got this together. Like, we going to get married? Like, what you going to do? Okay, or this could be an air sign you're dealing with. Maybe you're wondering if this person's going to propose to you. You know, if you and this person really do have a future together. Now, there could be somebody here, Scorpio, when they don't get their way, they act the guy dog on fool. Okay, they throw a fit. They start throwing shit, start having these damn temper tantrums, start acting like shit. They on this shit. Okay, and this could be someone that's very, very, very controlling. Okay, this is reminding me of like that Queen of Wands in reverse, that King of Wands. Okay, this could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag, or someone who can have those placements in their chart. And it's like, shit, when they don't get their way, Scorpio, they about to act a damn fool up in here, up in here. Now, some of my Scorpio in your energy feels like you guys have unfinished business. So that means you have to walk away from this person without explaining why or this person walked away from you without explaining why okay either way it went someone here feels like like this story this situation between you and them like this shit ain't over with you know what i'm saying like there could have been a pause a big ass pause you know in this connection to where you and this person had talks or, or none of that okay you ain't seen this person none of that but they still feel like shit is not over between you and them okay so this could be an air sign now, someone here wants your forgiveness. This could be someone who's praying, asking you, okay? This could be someone who would be begging you for another chance, okay? I feel like someone wants your forgiveness, but they feel like you still struggle with the past. So whatever this person did to you in the past, this person feels that energy of you still struggling, okay? So you could have energetically blocked this person to some extent, you know what I'm saying? But they're able to pick up on your energy. And they know that you still ain't feeling them, okay? Now, for some of you, there is someone who got tricked, okay? This air sign could have got tricked or someone here feels like they got tricked. Someone here feels like the only reason they, they got this baby mama, baby daddy, or, you know, they're still with this person from their past or whatever, it's this person tricked them, okay? They deceived them into doing something, okay? This person feel like, shit, had they known the real reason of this, they wouldn't have fucked with this person. Now, this could be someone who's scared. Now, this could be someone who did not hold or someone who was holding back from you. They never expressed themselves, never truly opened up, never told you how they felt about you. And this could be scaring somebody because they know this is something that is very important, okay? Especially since a lot of time, I feel like, has passed since you and this person had communicated. They was like, well, shit, if Scorpio only knew, you know, I did love them or I did want to be with them or... You know, if I if I did tell them how I feel, you know, I feel like things would be different. Someone here feels like if they would have opened up, 
And if they would have just expressed themselves to you in the past, then maybe things would be a little bit different between you guys. Because right now, they don't know where the hell you guys stand. They don't know shit if y'all cool, y'all beefing. Like, they don't know what it is, okay? Now, for some of you, you may feel like this person is a blessing and a curse, okay? Or, or this is the energy of someone feels like, you know, this person truly was a blessing in their life, okay? They taught them some very valuable lessons. But at the same time, it was like they was cursed at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a good thing and it was a bad thing that you had this connection or you crossed paths with this person. Now, someone here is trying to move on, okay? Someone could be trying to move on from the past, maybe some things that they experienced. This could be you or someone else. Someone here wants a fresh start. They want to start like this new beginning or have a new beginning. You know, start this new chapter. Start over. You know what I'm saying? Just maybe relocate, find a new job. You know, just start their whole life over. But the problem is, shit, they ain't got no money, Scorpio. They broke. They hurting financially here, okay? And whoever this person is, you could have gave this person some money, but they can't pay you back because they're hurting financially, okay? And they cannot help you financially, Scorpio. Hmm. Let's pull this little bit of tarot. Oh, one more card. So we got unfinished business. This person, they feel like, you know, things are not settled. There we go. Things are not settled between you and them, okay? And whoever this person is, there's going to be an unexpected outcome. Remember in that full moon reading, it talked about a uh, mutable moon, okay? Uh, nothing yet is set in stone. So some of you may already have your mind made up about what's going to happen in this connection between you and this person. But there can be an unexpected outcome. And this outcome, Scorpio, is going to shock you because things are not going to go the way that either you planned or someone else here planned, okay? So let's pull it just a little bit. <coughs> because we, I want to see about who, who this is that got tricked and how does this person feel like they got tricked here, okay? So we're going to pull on, I got tricked. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. And if anything has been resonating with you so far, then you go on and like this video. All right, tell us about I Got Treats, Holy Spirit. We want to know who this is that feels like they got treats. And then we want to know how they get treats. So who is this person, Holy, Holy Spirit, that feels like they got treats, Scorpio? You could have felt like this air sign or someone you were dealing with treats you in a way, okay? Manipulated you in a way. Tell us about I Got Treats. Who is this person, Holy Spirit, that feels like they got treat? Damn, that was quick. Okay. So we got the high priestess in reverse. Okay. Yeah, someone here feel like they got treats because someone here had a hidden agenda. Okay. They were secret. Someone here was deceiving somebody. I feel like someone got tricked into some type of an agreement or they chose to, or they made a decision based on what somebody told them here. And this is somebody who was very selfish. Yeah. So someone did not use their intuition, which meant that spirit tried to give them the head up. You know what I'm saying? They tried to give them a head up about this person. Like, hey, you may not want to trust old boy, old girl over there. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they intentions for you are not genuine. They're not pure. Mm. You know what, you guys? This unexpected outcome came out in reverse. So I wonder if this is this person. That things are not going to go the way that they planned here, okay? And there's going to be an unexpected outcome because this came out in reverse. So this gives me like the, I'm picking up like dark energy, okay? So I'm going to put this down here. Because in that last reading, you guys remember, there was a third party that feels like your person was very weak, man. They was very weak and easy for them to take advantage of. So this person could have felt like it was going to be easy to treat them because they were very weak and easy to take advantage of. Okay, okay. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. So what was the secret? What was hidden from this person? The Knight of Cups. Je okay, what was hidden that this person was untrustworthy? Okay, they couldn't trust this person. They were not reliable and they were unpredictable. Okay, so they were dealing with somebody who was very calculated. You know what I'm saying? Like they would make very calculated moves. They were very moody. They didn't know which mood, okay? They was damn near walking on eggshells dealing with this person and they dealt with a lot of heartbreak a lot of disappointment this is someone who was very jealous of them though so this man like shit this person really can go out and 
you know, have fun and do shit like that without this person being all up their ass. So this is what was hidden from this person, okay? That they couldn't trust them, that they were unreliable, and they were unpredictable here. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Tell us more about what was hidden. Well, no, how did this person get treats and how did they feel like they got treats, Holy Spirit? What was hidden from this person? What, what did they not know? Ooh. This person, Scorpio, didn't know that you were going to be a star. This person didn't know, Scorpio, that you realized that you represented some type of spiritual fortune. Or with you, they would have had this great spiritual fortune, okay, which talks about plenty of material and spiritual abundance, wealth, and success, yeah. Because you had a purpose. There was a reason why you and this person connected, why you crossed paths with this person in the first place, okay? Mm. Let's get one more. Messages for my Scorpios. What was hidden? from this person? What did they not know? That they needed to protect themselves? This person was jealous of them and they was going to cause some type of threat in their life, okay? And they were going to have to protect themselves from this third party here, okay? This is what was hidden from this person. They were very, very, very conniving, very jealous, very envious, very, ugh, just a dirty ass energy, y'all. 717 could be significant. You can be dealing with the Pisces. We got Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, and Leo. So let's let's roll. Let's see who this reading is about for my beautiful Scorpios. All right, so you can be damn, you can be dealing with heavy Capricorn, Taurus. All right, so we got Aquarius, Sash, Taurus, Gemini. We got Capricorn again, Heavy Virgo, and Aries. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.